Welcome to NoKite. In this video, we will discuss about top 5 most radioactive places on the Earth. Radiation is energy that moves from one place to another in a form that can be described as waves or particles. We are exposed to radiation in our everyday life. Some of the most familiar sources of radiation include the sun, microwave ovens in our kitchens, and the radios we listen to in our cars. Most of this radiation carries no risk to our health. But some does. Radiation has lower risk at lower doses but can be associated with higher risks at higher doses. Depending on the type of radiation, different measures must be taken to protect our bodies and the environment from its effects, while allowing us to benefit from its many applications. Let's start our list of top 5 most radioactive places on the Earth. 5. Mate Production Association, Russia. The Mate Production Association is a major nuclear facility located in the town of Azersk, Shelyabinsk Oblast, Russia. It was one of the Soviet Union's main facilities for the production of weapons-grade plutonium and uranium-135. The facility was established in the late 1940s as part of the Soviet Union's nuclear weapons program. Key points about the MAKE Production Association include a 1. Establishment and purpose MAKE was established in 1948 as a secret facility to produce fissile materials for the Soviet nuclear weapons program during the Cold War. 2. Plutonium production of MAKE was primarily involved in producing plutonium-139, a key component for nuclear weapons. Plutonium-139 is a fissile material used in the core of nuclear weapons. Three of environmental issues and accidents of MAKE has been associated with several significant environmental and safety incidents. The most notable was the Kishtim disaster in 1957, a radioactive contamination event considered the third most serious nuclear accident after the Chernobyl disaster and the Fukushima Daiichi incident. More radioactive contamination of the Kishtim disaster involved the explosion of a waste storage tank, releasing a significant amount of radioactive isotopes into the environment. It led to the contamination of a vast area affecting both the environment and local population. Five cleanup and remediation efforts have been made to address the environmental and health consequences of the accidents and ongoing operations. Remediation and cleanup activities continue to mitigate the environmental impact. Six ongoing operations of MAKE still operates and is involved in nuclear reprocessing and related activities. It is a key facility for the reprocessing of spent nuclear fuel and the production of nuclear materials for various purposes. 7. is Secrecy and limited information Much of MAKE's operations, especially in the past, were shrouded in secrecy due to the sensitive nature of its activities and the focus on nuclear weapons production. The MAKE Production Association remains a significant entity in Russia's nuclear industry, albeit with increased attention to safety, environmental concerns, and international nuclear non-proliferation efforts. 4. Hanford Site, USA The Hanford Site is a decommissioned nuclear production complex located in southeastern Washington State, USA. It played a significant role in the United States' atomic energy and nuclear weapons development efforts during World War II and the Cold War. Here's a detailed overview of the Hanford Site. 1. Location at the Hanford Site is situated along the Columbia River in Benton County, Washington. It covers an area of approximately 586 square miles of 1517 square kilometers of historical significance. Hanford was established in 1943 as part of the Manhattan Project, a secret U.S. government research and development project during World War II to develop the first nuclear weapons. Its primary mission was to produce plutonium-139, a key component for nuclear bombs. Three. Plutonium Production Hanford was one of the primary sites for plutonium production. It housed nine nuclear reactors and associated facilities that produced plutonium-139 for nuclear weapons. Poor Environmental Impact Over decades of operation, Hanford released significant amounts of radioactive and hazardous materials into the environment. It has become one of the most contaminated nuclear sites in the world. Contamination resulted from the production process as well as waste management practices that were not fully understood at the time. 5. Cleanup Efforts After the end of the Cold War, the focus shifted to cleaning up the environmental and radioactive contamination at the site. The Hanford Cleanup is one of the largest environmental cleanup projects in the world. It involves addressing radioactive waste, groundwater contamination, and other hazardous materials. 6. Current status Cleanup efforts at the Hanford site are ongoing and involve the Department of Energy of Doan, the Environmental Protection Agency would be in, the Washington State Department of Ecology, and other stakeholders. The cleanup is expected to continue for many years. 3. Sellafield, 
United Kingdom. Sellafield is a nuclear fuel reprocessing and nuclear decommissioning site in Cumbria, England, United Kingdom. It is one of the most significant and complex nuclear sites in the UK, with a history dating back to its establishment during the early years of the nuclear industry. Here's an overview of Sellafield. 1. Location Sellafield is located on the northwest coast of England, near the village of Seascale in Cumbria. 2. Historical significance. Sellafield was originally established as a nuclear reactor site in the 1940s. It played a vital role in the production of plutonium for the UX nuclear weapons program during the early years of the Cold War. 3. Nuclear reprocessing. Sellafield became a center for nuclear reprocessing, where spent nuclear fuel from nuclear reactors is processed to extract plutonium and uranium for reuse in nuclear power plants or nuclear weapons. It also dealt with the storage of nuclear waste. Four environmental and safety concerns. Over the years, Sellafield has faced environmental and safety concerns due to incidents, accidents, and radioactive discharges into the Irish Sea, which raised environmental and public health issues. 5. Decommissioning and Cleanup Sellafield is now in the process of decommissioning its legacy facilities and cleaning up the site. This involves managing and treating radioactive waste, safely storing spent fuel, and addressing the environmental impact of historical operations. 6. Modernization and Future Plans The UK government and site operators have plans for the future of Sellafield, including the development of new facilities to manage nuclear waste and support the nuclear industry. Efforts are ongoing to address the legacy issues and bring the site to a state where it no longer poses a significant risk to the environment or public health. The cleanup and decommissioning process at Sellafield involves collaboration between the UK government, the Nuclear Decommissioning Authority Adena, and site operators to ensure safe and responsible management of nuclear materials and waste. 2. Fukushima, Japan. Fukushima is a prefecture and a region in Japan that gained international prominence due to the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear disaster, which occurred in 2011 following a massive earthquake and subsequent tsunami. Here's a comprehensive overview of Fukushima and the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear disaster. 1. Location Fukushima is a prefecture located in the Tohoku region of Japan, northeast of Tokyo. It is known for its beautiful landscapes, agriculture, and hot springs. 2. Fukushima Daiichi nuclear disaster On March 11, 2011, a magnitude 9.0 earthquake, known as the Great East Japan Earthquake, struck off the northeastern coast of Japan. The earthquake triggered a powerful tsunami that inundated the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. 3. Impact of the disaster The tsunami disabled the power supply and cooling capabilities of three reactors at the Fukushima Daiichi plant, leading to a severe nuclear accident. It resulted in meltdowns, hydrogen explosions, and the release of radioactive materials into the environment. 4. Radiation release and contamination The disaster released a significant amount of radioactive isotopes into the atmosphere and nearby ocean. It led to contamination of air, soil, water, and agricultural products in the region, causing concerns about public health and safety. 5. Evacuation and cleanup The Japanese government issued evacuations and established an exclusion zone around the plant. Efforts to stabilize the damaged reactors and mitigate the release of radioactive substances involved containment, water cooling, and the construction of protective structures. Long-term effects and recovery The Fukushima disaster had a profound impact on Japan's energy policy, public opinion regarding nuclear power, and the global nuclear industry. The region is still in the process of recovery and decontamination, and efforts continue to manage and store radioactive water from the plant. 7. Nuclear Decommissioning Decommissioning efforts at the Fukushima Daiichi plant are ongoing and expected to last for several decades. The decommissioning process includes the removal and proper management of radioactive materials and spent fuel, as well as the dismantling of damaged reactors. 8. Ongoing Monitoring and Research Ongoing monitoring of the environment food, and residents in the Fukushima region continues to ensure safety and assess the long-term effects of the nuclear disaster. 1. Chernobyl Exclusion Zone Ukraine Chernobyl disaster Accident in 1986 at the Chernobyl nuclear power station in the Soviet Union, the worst disaster in the history of nuclear power generation. The Chernobyl power station was situated at the settlement of Prapyat, 10 miles a 16 km northwest of the city of Chernobyl, Ukraine, and Kornoblia, and 65 miles 100 for km north of Kyiv, Ukraine. The station consisted of four reactors, each capable of producing 1,000 megawatts of electric power. It had come online in 1977-83. The disaster occurred on April 25, 26, 1986, when technicians at reactor unit for attempted a poorly designed experiment. 
workers shut down the reactor's power regulating system and its emergency safety systems, and they withdrew most of the control rods from its core while allowing the reactor to continue running at 7% power. These mistakes were compounded by others, and at 1.23 am on April 26 the chain reaction in the core went out of control. Several explosions triggered a large fireball and blew off the heavy steel and concrete lid of the reactor. Some sources state that the people were killed in the initial explosions, whereas others report that the figure was closer to 50. Dozens more people contracted serious radiation sickness as some of them later died. Between 50 and 185 million curies of radiandals or radioactive forms of chemical elements escaped into the atmosphere several times more radioactive than that created by the atomic bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Japan. This radioactivity was spread by the wind over Belarus, Russia, and Ukraine and soon reached as far west as France and Italy. Millions of acres of forest and farmland were contaminated, and although many thousands of people were evacuated, Hundreds of thousands more remained in contaminated areas. In addition, in subsequent years many livestock were born deformed, and among humans several thousand radiation-induced illnesses and cancer deaths were expected in the long term. The Chernobyl disaster sparked criticism of unsafe procedures and design flaws in Soviet reactors, and it heightened resistance to the building of more such plants. Chernobyl unit was shut down after a 1991 fire, and Unit 1 remained online until 1996. Please note that the level of radioactivity can change over time due to ongoing efforts to mitigate contamination and the evolving situation at these sites. I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe to the channel, share with family, friends. Thank you.